Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshi Party! Independence Day! And in this one we're gonna be taking a closer look at the new podium vehicle. We're gonna be looking at things like its exterior, its interior, how it customizes and all that good stuff in Los Santos Customs, and of course how it performs both before and after we go there. And ultimately I wanna answer the question, is it worth it? Of course, my criteria might be a little bit different than yours, but you get the point. With that, let's start with the 360 around the vehicle while I give you some facts. It has four wheels. No, but in all seriousness, it's called the Hot Ring Saber. And it was released in 2018, so three years ago as of the making of this video. And in case you think it looks weird, that's because it's based off of a stock car. Which one? I don't know, but it's one of them cars that does only left hand turns. And as far as its interactivity, I'm happy to say that you can open both doors, the hood and the trunk. And as far as the level of detail is concerned here, I'm not entirely impressed. But more on that in a bit. Right now, I'm just happy that you can open all four things on the vehicle. One thing that I do want to say before we hop in the vehicle is that this is gonna be a nightmare to drive at night. No headlights and no taillights. As for the interior, I'm happy to say that it looks very NASCAR-y. It looks awesome, in my opinion. Too bad we can't interact with any of it, but uh, hey, you can win them all. As for how the vehicle sounds, it actually sounds great. And with that, it's time for the most scientific part of the video. Seeing what type of drivetrain it's porting. And it should come to no surprise that we are dealing with a rear-wheel drive vehicle here. And with that, we're off to Los Santos Customs, where dreams go to... Well, I'm assuming you've seen my videos before. And on our way there, I'm gonna be happy sharing my experience with the stock version of this vehicle with you. First off, this is my first time driving the Sabre. Sabre? Anyway, I can definitely say that it's very faithful to what its inspiration is. A car that can go in a straight line and from time to time make a left turn. And yes, keep in mind I'm talking about the stock version of this, maybe when we exit Los Santos Customs it's gonna be different. But as of right now, this vehicle ain't that great. The acceleration is decent, the top speed is actually not bad, the traction is mostly there, but let's be honest, the handling is horrendous. Oh, and one more thing, it doesn't like to do corners apparently. It has a huge turning radius, which is kind of a shame. And with that stunt jump failed, it's time to get in Los Santos Customs and see what we can customize on it. <clears throat> any, any second now. And the first thing we're gonna be looking at is the sell price of this vehicle. Now keep in mind, it's not a custom vehicle, so the sell price is probably gonna be, there we go, $11,000. And with everything fixed up, let's go over the performance options first up and upgrade them all. This is gonna allow me to skim over the customization, which as I can see so far is incredibly... That's it? Huh. Okay, so let's start customizing the vehicle with the... Ugh. Okay, apparently this is gonna be the biggest customization of the vehicle, so let's go over each livery one by one. And I actually kinda understand it for this vehicle, even though it's a fairly new one, so I'm a little bit disappointed in the limited customization. But it's a stock car after all. If you've seen NASCAR or understand anything about it, they're basically driving the same vehicle. And I know NASCAR fans, they're not really, but let's be honest, they are. And oh no, I'm so broken up that I'm not gonna be able to choose any of the last 10 liveries. Oh no, what am I gonna do? And since 4th of July is coming up, I decided to stick with the stock livery for the podium vehicle. Wow, that was a mouthful as well. And the next customization option is, uh, wow, suspension. And uh, since we want this vehicle to be as slippery as possible, let's go with the lowest suspension. And even though I kinda like the wheels Rockstar gave us, I wanna change them, cause I want this vehicle to be at least a little bit custom. And one of the last things we're gonna do is choose a custom design for our new tires, which I know, I know, don't look as good as the stock ones, but hey, you win some, you lose some. But to be fair, I've been mostly losing. And it's time to see what type of tint we're gonna be applying to the windows. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I kinda like how the limo looks, so we're gonna be keeping that. And oh my god, look at the clock! It's that time of the video again where we choose the vehicle's color! Yay! And in case you're not familiar with this process, I do a poll every week asking you guys, the viewers, what color do you want to see me make the current podium vehicle in this Thursday's video? 
Uh -huh. Yep, that sounded right. Anyways, this week we had several weird options, and by the way, we do have weird options every week. And Salad was one of them. But sadly, you guys didn't choose Salad. Now, listen, I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Anyhow, gold won, so we're gonna be making this podium vehicle solid gold. Or at least the gold color option. And uh, thank you so much to everybody that participated in the poll, and don't forget to subscribe to the Bullshit Party if you want to participate in future polls. Oh, and if you like the channel at all. And also turn on notifications because YouTube says so, and I'm following what they're suggesting. And as for the rim color, I really wanted to make them gold as well. But as I'm searching for the gold color, I'm thinking, huh, is it possible that the gold color is somehow locked behind the paywall? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. So we're gonna be making the rims the next best color, pink. No, no, don't worry about it, we're not gonna make them pink. We're just gonna pretend they're gold. There. And we're finally out of Los Santos Customs in our headlightless, taillightless vehicle. Wow, that was difficult to say. Anyways, this is what we have, and I can already hear what you guys are thinking. But Bullsheep, this isn't gold. Well, it is. I kind of wanted to celebrate the 4th of July, so I decided to stay with this livery. Livery? Ah, whatever. The point is, underneath the livery, everything is solid gold, baby! But I'm assuming you guys care less about that and more about how the car handles and performs. And uh, I haven't done this in a while, but... Uh... If you decide to pass on this vehicle, I'm totally fine with that. There is literally nothing special here, unless you're a huge NASCAR fan, in which case... Stop watching my videos, please. I joke, I joke, but uh, in all seriousness, there is nothing special about this vehicle. As a matter of fact, even if you're able to overlook its dodgy performance at best, let's be honest, it doesn't look that great and it's undrivable at night. And yes, I understand the Indy cars basically have the same issue with the drivability at night, but uh, you know what? They have nitrous and they're fast. Oh yeah, and you can customize them. As for this one, I'm really struggling to think of nice things to say about it. As a matter of fact, the original end to this video was gonna be me going back to Los Santos Customs and selling it. So in my opinion, if you're thinking of paying 800,000 for it, which is what this vehicle usually costs, or getting it for free from the podium, I'd say it's a pass on both fronts. Unless I'm overlooking something, I just don't see it with this vehicle. I do not think it's worth it. Hmm, I wonder if it can go off-road. Oh, it can? Never mind guys, 10 out of 10, best vehicle in the game, confirmed. And with that, I think it's time to start winding down this video. Thank you so much to everybody that watched, hopefully you liked the video, and if that's the case, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you are not already a subscriber. And if you are, share the video amongst your friends and ask them to subscribe. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And with that, I'm gonna go brush my teeth to get the horrible taste of this car out of my mouth, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, you know what? I think I prefer walking.